Hi, I'm John. You met me previously, and that's Vince behind the camera. And apparently today, uh, we're going to look for cigars. Now, keep in mind, we are in the midst of a uh, pandemic, and we will be uh, masking up safety first. And uh, so it's going to be a little odd, I think, but we're going to give it a shot. So uh, we're going on the road, going to buy a cigar, big time fun, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right. And cut. Well, I, I didn't say anything. Now we can cut. And cut. <laughs> and cut. I don't even see any macanudos. Do you like other stuff? Have you ordered online? Do you have any macanudos? Is there anywhere? You have the Inspirado, the dark one, the, the black one. Oh, I, did, I just went one. They packed pretty fast. Thanks, man. That's a pretty mild cigar, right? Yeah, it looks, I, I think it's maybe a medium at full. Yeah, this, this is his first cigar, so. Yeah, you, it looks stronger than it is, definitely. All right, let's go check these out out here. All right. Uh, these are all good. The Hoyo de Monterey is an old, very old cigar, Cohibas. They're expensive, very good cigars. I wonder, uh, is there a flavor profile for the Cohiba? Uh, you know, I mean, every every style of cigar, every cigar is different. So, if you're looking for something in particular, you can always look up tasting notes online. Here's the Macanudos. These are, this is what I started smoking. It's a very basic, you know, it's what a lot of people start out with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you're a big coffee and chocolate guy. Totally. This is a Macanudo Inspirado. Uh, but usually Maduros and dark cigars are uh, strong. All right. These aren't strong. They're pretty cool. So I think this would be a good starter. Good start. All right. So let's go buy these. Yeah. I'll get them both. Are you sure? Yeah, right. Dig it. We just get back? Nah, I'm good. Do you have any matches? Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. Would you like a receipt? Please. Hey, thanks, brother. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Appreciate it. Thank you much. I just want to know, are you as excited as I am? I'm as excited as you are to get out of this parking lot. Hey, uh, I'm John, and this is Vince, and we were grown-ass men, but at this point, we might be adequate adults. We're trying to figure it out. So if you uh, are up to date, uh, we went down to pick up some cigars, and uh, uh, we got some. Apparently, uh, Vince is going to talk to you about uh, the Macanudo Inspirado. Macanudo Inspirado. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Vince. The Macanudo Inspirado Black Robusto has a broadleaf Connecticut wrapper. Binder is Ecuadorian Sumatra and filler Dominican. Hey, uh, we're back. Uh, Adequate adulting cigar. Yeah, that won't be in there. Cut that. <laughs> let's light the, let's light these bad boys up. Well, well hold on. I think we need to readjust. All right. 
Do an intro. I'm good now. Is this, is it, uh... Make it happen, Captain. Let's light these bad boys up. Oh, what a wonderful one take. So we're just going to use regular old Bic lighter, as I said. I already, I already said that, so I'm not going to say that again. I just light these bad boys up. <laughs> All right. You want to heat up the end a little bit, so get right. your, click your Bic. And uh, just heat up the outside a little bit. Maybe try to char the outside a little bit. You don't want to flame right on it. You don't want to burn it. You don't want to light it even. You're really heating it up so it'll take the flame all at once. And don't let anybody tell you that you're not able to use a Bic lighter to light a cigar. Well, apparently. Nothing wrong with that. We're making that happen right now. All right, so. You're just gonna put flame to Send tip, it. right? And puff, spin it a little bit. Try to do it evenly. Put low on the end. See, a little windy out today. And but. perhaps that's why a Bic wouldn't be good right now. Perhaps maybe a Zippo, Bradford. Well, you, people bitch about the Zippo. Should have used a torch lighter, but uh, I didn't have no fuel. So. so essentially, when you're adequate adulting, you don't have yeah. the blowtorch butane. You don't want to go to the Zippo because people won't like it. So you end up with a Bic with the wind coming in. Nothing wrong with the Zippo. Nothing wrong with the Bic. Oh, wow. I got very angry for that take. I don't know where that you came from. You turned the Bic into a dick. Apparently. My apologies, Vincent. That's right. Got angry over the Bic. 2020. God bless you. So, usually, you smoke a cigar with a beverage. Uh... Don't know if we'll make it, but Ooh. Uh, today our Hold beverage of choice. Did you get something there? I did. Did you have a tasting note, John? I did. That what was is quite your tasting nice. note? I, there was a, a very um, not subtle. It was a, quite a um, quite the punch of vanilla. I'm not vanilla. Lie. Yes. Very interesting. I could see that vanilla. Yeah, a little bit of vanilla. I get that. I mean, at this point, I'm truly wishing that you had brought some butane, but whatever. <coughs> so sometimes it takes longer to light a cigar than others. <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? No, but I, I, yeah. I actually didn't want to buy butane. I didn't want to get out of the car. I get you. And right. go into a store and buy butane. Is there something going on over my shoulder here? Oh, there's somebody. I saw you, uh, I yeah. saw you eyeballing that. Is a Do I need to turn people. around and address it? So you know what's wrong with this world? It's 2020. People. Well, people are what's wrong with this world. I think we need to start. Anyway. All right, camera's still running, so. So Come today cool. we're drinking a good old Jack Daniels. I gotta, I, I just, I have to say that the, the Jack Daniels is my go-to drink. Like that's You're my. You're a big Jack Daniels fan. There's that's my 100% solid. It's a, it's a very good bourbon, and it, I know a lot of people might bitch about that, but technically it's a bourbon. It's just been uh, the whole thing is. Uh, Tennessee whiskey is chill filtered twice through charcoal, but everything else, mash bill, it's all uh, it's all bourbon, it's all American whiskey, man. Ah, uh, it's tasty, so I'm good with that. It's very sweet, that corn, that corn, uh, that corn taste, absolutely. I'm with you. I think you're on it like blue bonnet. Man. Well, let me ask. Excuse me. Let me ask you this one, man. I personally don't like Jim Beam. 
what is the difference between the uh, the brewing process, uh, the distilling, the distilling process of and Jack the aging and Jim? Why well, is there I mean, that taste uh, difference? Uh, there's definitely a difference in Mashville, but it's going to be at least over fifty. It's, it's going to be over half corn, but. A lot of people will say this is much smoother. And Jim Beam is a basic bourbon. Jim Beam is bourbon. If you if you taste Jim Beam, you know what bourbon tastes like. Mm. Now this has been filtered through charcoal. So this is a gentler. That's where they say it's where the gentleman Jack. smooth. Now gentleman Jack, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what gentleman Jack is. It's probably a higher proof. I'm not sure. I have to get back to you on that. Anybody, leave it in the comments. He won't read it, but leave it yeah. in the comments. You could certainly type it out. Ain't nobody going to read Maybe it. Maybe someday somebody will read it, but probably not. Uh, not from this camp. I don't All right. Be rude to them. No, certainly not. Uh, let's uh, move on. I did have another question. Death by lava or death by water? Uh, lava. Save. Lava. Done. Death by right. lava. Quicker. Explain. Superhero power. Pick one. Go. Put me on a spot there. Superhero power. Pick oh, one. Man. One's all you get. Send it. I would say uh, eternal life. Is that one? Immortality. Immortality. Wow, I think so. Um, I was going to go invisible until I heard your answer, and then I think I'm going to go with your answer. I mean, it would probably get too old after a while. I'm sure you would want to die. But Man, you'd have a good, like, seven, eight hundred years. Imagine how smart you would be. Right? Unless everybody else was immortal, too. That, then, that, no, that ain't no. cool. Yeah. And you want to yeah. own that by yourself. Yeah. All right. Let's, Not a Nazi. Oh, whenever we move, look at the canvas shaking. Yeah. Well, that's a fun effect. So, Brought to you by Adequate Adults. First third, John gets grass notes. No, it was first was vanilla. Vanilla, that was the first. That could have been a uh, bit lighter then. Nah. Vanilla. And then you were talking about cut grass like it was cut grass. Style. That's a thing. Hey. Apparently you was all excited about the cut grass. Wood. Woody. Don't no. do that. No. Let it fall off naturally. You always let the ash fall off naturally. Good learning point. Why? Because the ash is actually protecting the ember. So then that way you don't have to relight it. That's yeah. an insulator. You might have to relight it. That ash is an insulator to the heat that keeps the cigar lit. But if you are going to get some ash off, if you feel like you must, what I try to do is when I first light it up, I just let it go till it falls off. All right. If you want to tap it off, just tap it off like like this. It's like a cigarette. Not you know, a, don't not, bang not it on anything. Lick. No, don't bang it on anything. Don't definitely don't roll it. Get the ash off, and it's kind of cool because a lot of times it'll go real long. And it... well, you are a cook. I do. I do cook. I do believe. Uh, Indubitably. 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 Oh. Yeah, I. Uh, I like to cook the food. What is your go-to dish? Go. Uh, Coco vin. What the F is Coco Vine? Uh, Coco Vine. Coco. Chocolate? Uh, no. Chicken. Coco. Coco. Vine. Vine. With? Vino. Wine. Chicken with wine. What's your, uh, what, what, what's your favorite uh, thing to cook? Scrambled eggs. <laughs> you can't be serious. I can cook me some scrambled eggs. Ain't, ain't no way in the world, ain't nothing you can do to some scrambled eggs that are going to make scrambled eggs taste good. Come on. Yeah. 
I'm just saying. I can do a mean scrambled egg. Maybe with some Heinz ketchup. You got a big I'm egg guy. Know. Apparently. Let's change the topic of conversation. You got a big egg guy. Because I mean, that shit it. just hit flat. You know, they got a fratita. A fratita. You know, you put you put a you got to put a bunch of shit in it, man. You know, a, uh, you know, omelet. The scrambled eggs, man. You can't, there ain't enough cheese in the world to fix a scrambled egg. With enough butter and salt, you can make anything taste good. And it, 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 my, it, what I hate is especially... I just winked at you. You I, couldn't I, see I it. I couldn't see it. Right. Now. I mean, but you know what I have a problem with? Uh, breakfast buffets. If you go and stay at a hotel and the breakfast they put up. 99% of the time, scrambled eggs. Can I pause? And it's not real eggs. Let me just pause this real quick. We started adequate adults over cigars. We are now at the point where we are talking about economical hotels and their buffets. I don't say economical. Every uh, hotel. You're just saying. Every you got place. an egg issue. I don't, I don't want to scramble We're talking eggs. about cigars. So then I, I... Why are we talking about eggs? Well, you have to smoke the cigar. You're not giving me any... So, first, when you do a cigar, you you, <laughs> you explain the notes in the first third, the second third, and the third third. Mm -hmm. We're still on the first third, so... The no notes might be changing. But we ain't talking about scrambled eggs. You're the one who brought scrambled eggs up. Listen... In my it uh you know see it's burning pretty straight it's a well constructed uh, cigar it's uh you know nothing wrong with a macanudo then mm -hmm. give me a macanudo I don't macanudo know macanudo in a pinch I can't make that judgment call you will it's, it's time for a beverage you gotta finish that one first see this is the pro this is I do this. This is why I, I, I gain so much weight, because I'm thinking about the bite that's coming to my mouth instead of thinking about the bite that is in my mouth. Enjoy the whiskey. No, no, and you got to leave that. See. Do you think it's changed at all? you find any flavors now? We'll concentrate on it a little bit. Give me a second to think on that. Let me cleanse on my palate with uh, the Jack Daniels. Iced tea. I didn't teach out a retro hill, did I? I didn't understand one of those words that came out of your mouth. <laughs> so, retro hail. Oh, we talked yeah. about this totally, but... It's you suck, the, uh, suck a puff into your mouth, right? blow like three quarters of it out, and then the last 20% or so... Through the nose? Expel through your nose. So it's kind of like a reverse French inhale. Uh, or or it... it uh, a retro It is a retro inhale. <laughs> <laughs> but right. reverse French <laughs> inhale... <laughs> Just stop, because I'm not going to be able to let it go. What is a, what's the reverse French? What's a French a retro inhale? Hill. Oh, uh, the French inhale? French Ready? Inhale. I'll, I'll give it to you. I do that with uh, pipes. Right. I do, yeah, yeah, I get you. I'm doing my best right now. Not just projectile vomit, because I took that full cigar hit. Yeah, you don't want to inhale cigars. No. Bad news. Yeah. My day um, might be over. You get, <laughs> you get, you get a, a tremendous amount of nicotine from uh, your mouth being on it and then just pulling the smoke into your mouth. It's not about the inhale. No. Don't inhale. Are you liking cigar smoking? I, I Yeah, I am. I'm kind of digging it. It, 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 it pairs very nicely with whiskey. It goes very great with uh, iced tea. Mm. 
I think so too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Especially uh, and I know people will uh, you get comments about drinking whiskey on the ice. They say you should drink it neat. Versus neat. Where do you land in that debate? I think you should drink whiskey the way you want to drink it. So you're saying whatever way is most enjoyable for you. If you, you want to snort it through your nose if and that, it doesn't if, hurt you. If that makes you happy, then have at it. You paid for it. Whatever way you want it is the way you should. All right, so I'm not sure if you're all aware, but this is like our third or fourth encounter with Jack Daniels. I would like to get into a wild turkey. Oh, we can't do brand names, right? Yeah, we can. Can we? Yeah. Not I'd giving like us get... any money, so. Well, I, I'd like to get into some like. Uh, Even if wild... they are giving us money, we, we yeah, you can. There's no, yeah, you can do that. Can we do a little wild turkey? Maybe some old granddad. Can we get into a I would bourbon? say, uh, I'll tell time? you what, next time we'll get a Wild Turkey 101. What about Wild Turkey Rare Breed? A rare Breed. I like me some Rare Breed. From the 50s. So you're 50s. saying like cigar is a lot like uh, a whiskey. Uh, the longer it ages. I would ages. say wine. Oh. I would say wine. So if you had your druthers right now, would you rather be having your cigar with wine or your cigar with whiskey? Eh, yeah, cigar goes better with whiskey, I think. That's my preference, but I drank a bottle of wine with a cigar many times. It's a good start to the evening. Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Ain't that, ain't that uh, Matthew McConaughey? Is that his? No, 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 no. Oh, that's... Uh... You're thinking uh, Ryan Ryan Reynolds in the gym. No, Re no, 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 no. <laughs> He just sold that for a million dollars. Millions and millions and Wait. millions of dollars. Nah, I don't want to get into that. I don't want to. Aviator Jim. He sold Aviator it? Aviator Jim. Made millions and millions of dollars. He just sold that company that yeah. was his? Yeah. What's going on over my shoulder? I just saw that look there. That ain't nothing going on over All there. All right, then. Vampire! So I'm about halfway through this, right? Uh, the thing about a cigar is you stop smoking a cigar whenever you don't want to smoke it anymore. And if anybody tells you different, they are wrong. So if you were done now, you're done now. Some people smoke it down to the tippy tip. What about what about the guy that does the uh, chomp and chew? A lot of people will. Uh, when they're done with it, they will cut the ash off All right. with their cutter and then just chew on it for a while. Like chewing tobacco? Basically is what you're doing. You're still getting the nicotine. You know, All right. There's nothing so, wrong with that. If that's what you want to do, that's, that's not wrong. Take glasses off. We are coming upon our lower Final third. third. Final third. And what should we be looking for at this point? No, this, what this cigar doesn't change. No, there's no expectation. No, no. So if you're looking for a change, there wasn't a change. This this cigar From has a beginning to end. Three notes. Three notes, and the they way. are. I get chocolate, a chocolate coffee, cut grass or uh, hay. All right. And there is a wood element that might be in with the hay. I don't know. And it's it's a it's a it's a sweeter, you know. It's, it's like a dark, sweet chocolate, semi sweet chocolate. I was gonna ask you what percentage chocolate, but I'm not sure. Uh, our cigars at this point are uh, beyond a third, and uh, our uh, beverage of the day well, apparently one thing you never iced asked. tea is one thing you beyond never asked. its final third. And uh, so at this point, uh, cheers. Macanudo, Inspirato. Not a bad smoke. I like it. It's good for a Tuesday. That'll probably, that'll be, I mean, it does, we can, I can add stuff in, but that's going to be the end. Right. It's good for a Tuesday, even though it ain't Tuesday. It's Thursday. There you are. Welcome back. 
adequate adults. I was here at one time.